Hey Northwest, I'm Sarah Tamayo. And I'm Neva Bartelt. It's Friday, September 14th, and we're back with this week's Cougar Roundup, presented by KUGR. First off, we have Aaron Albers with What's Up, talking about Cougar Core and how you can be a part of it. What's up, Northwest? Cougar Core is starting this week. If you missed the Reward Day Tuesday, don't worry. There are plenty of other opportunities to join the fun. The next Reward Day is October 8th, and it's an early dismissal, so be sure to follow all the Cougar Core requirements so you can leave school a little early. Those requirements being all students must have C's in all classes or above, five or fewer tardies, and one unexcused absence or fewer. And remember, this doesn't include extracurriculars. I hope to see all of you there. Thanks, Erin. Now let's go to Trey and Spencer as the sophomores compete in a challenge to win Student of the Week. What's up, Northwest? Welcome to another segment of Students of the Week. We got four sophomores here with us going head to head at a mud competition. We are going to have them reach their hands into these bins of mud and see how many balls they can get out in 30 seconds. Let's see what happens. It was so warm. <laughs> There's no more. Oh, Three. We're Zero. out. We're out. One. <laughs> How'd we do? How'd we do? We have no more. Let's yeah. see. I don't think we're, we're out of balls. We're out of balls. We're we're out of balls. balls. There's 30 in every. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Oh Thank you guys so much for checking out our, our Students of the Week. We'll catch you next time here with us at Students of the Week. And all you got to do is follow us at NWKUGR. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace! I actually had an art teacher here named Mrs. Caviar, and I got really interested in teaching art. And then I went to Emporia State and came back. Ms. Terryberry has been teaching art at Northwest for 12 years. Um, I like the hands-onness of the jewelry, um, and I think it's—I just think it's fun. It's like my thing. Along with jewelry sculpture, Miss Terry Berry also teaches Intro to Art, Drawing One, Drawing Two, Advanced Placement IB, and Portfolio Prep. I love, like I said, I love jewelry. Um, I really enjoy things that are a little bit more crafty or like non-conventional, um, especially if they have a function, like. Um, like a good vessel or something like that, or something that you can hang on your wall that also can be a fish tank or plate holders. And that's what's up at Northwest. Now let's see how our Cougar athletes are doing. The Shiny Mission Northwest soccer team played Olathe South September 11th and tied 2-2. Keep up the good work, boys. Our Lady Golfers and Girls Tennis team are working hard this season. Let's take a look at some of the sport highlights for this week. Our varsity football boys take on Olathe South tonight at ODAC at 7 p.m. Be sure to come out and support your Northwest Sports Weekly. And that's all for this week's Cougar Roundup. I'm Sarah Tamayo. And I'm Neva Bartelt. Tune in next week to keep up with Northwest and its latest events and activities.